Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the streaming functionality of Apache Spark. Apache Spark is a hybrid framework which supports both batch processing and stream processing. Under the stream processing, I'll be talking about the structure streaming. So what is structure streaming? It's a high level API which works on the Spark SQL and it help us in running the operations that we perform in batch mode. Now it is in a streaming mode with a lesser latency, right? It's the high level API. The older API is a simple Spark streaming where we used to uh, use the D stream as an abstraction. But here we make use of data frame right behind the scenes. It's easy to use, right? That's why we are taking this as example. So in the streaming part, we just have to define three steps. Defining the source, defining the transformation and defining the sync. The source for today's practical will be netcat. So what is netcat? The netcat I can show you here. I'm already opened up this official website. The netcat is a featured networking utility which reads and writes data across the network connection using TCP IP protocol. It helps us in listening or writing or reading data over the network, right? So we need to download this setup first. We can download this from the nmap.org website and I'm using a Windows platform so I have to download for Windows, right? Simply go to that website and simply click on this link nmap-7.94setup.exe. This one we have to download. Once you download, you will get a setup downloaded afterwards run that setup, it will be installed in your system. And how we can verify, simply open up your PowerShell or maybe command prompt and simply write a command and cat space hyphen version, you will get the version as 7.94, it means it's successfully installed, right? And what other thing we require for this practical is the Spark shell, right? So we're gonna use two terminals today, one is Spark shell, one is called netcat. So what is the uh, procedure? We need to send some data, we need to send some words from the netcat window and its word count will be done in the spark window, right? This is the concept. So let's go through the steps for this practical. For this practical, we're gonna uh, carry out some of the very basic steps. First, the first step is to get some important libraries which are spark session, which is nothing but the entry point to the spark functionality. And we're gonna load one more library which is for SQL functions because we're gonna use two SQL functions today. One is uh, explode, one is called split. Afterwards, next step is to define the Spark session like we do in every practical. We define the Spark session where we define who is my master, which is my local host, what's my app name, I I'm name it as Rocket Source, we just create it here. Afterwards, we define the important options for my source, which is my host and port number. The host is localhost, which is correspond to 127.0.0.1 and I'm using port number as 4 times 9. Afterwards, we are defining my source. The source will be defined with the streaming data frame. The streaming data frame is different from regular data frame. In regular data frame, we used to write a command spark.read.format csv, right, or json. But here we're using a command spark.readstream.format and my format is socket. Socket is nothing but the combination of host and port number or IP address and port number. My IP address is 127.0.0.1 and my port number is 4 times 9. And we're defining the, both the options here and then we are loading the it as a data frame. Afterwards, we, def we define the transformation. The transformation is nothing but a word count. In this word count transformation, we are using this both the SQL functions. One is called explode, one is called split. Explode is helping us in, uh, in converting the array of words into the rows and this uh, split is used to split the data. So what's the concept? The data will be coming from this netcat window where we write some words with a space separator and it will be coming to us and then the this uh, this uh, transformation, what it will do, it will just convert that into a data frame. Data frame will be having two uh, columns. One column will be name as words because I'm using an alias as words. Second column name will be the count. The words will come in first column, the, its corresponding count will come in second column. How that uh, words which are coming from netcat window is been transformed into a data frame, it is because of this explode. Because explode will take up this sentences, this words, it will be turning it into a rows of a data frame. And we, using the split uh, method, we're gonna split the words, right, with a space separator. And then those values will be coming in the form of the words in the new row and that, that column will be named it as words, okay? Second column, we're gonna have the count because here we are applying the group by. Group by will combine all the similar words together and get its count, corresponding count, right? This is called word count. Afterwards, we're defining the sync. Sync will be my console because I'm gonna print it on my console. It is, we're gonna use the write stream. The, we are, for reading data, we are using read stream. For writing data, we are using a write stream. Output mode is com uh, complete or anything we, because complete maybe uh, it's one of the options. We can also use the complete, update, and append, okay? There, we have a three options available. 
for output mode complete append or update the format is console uh, and we gonna use the start for starting the streaming and await termination meaning is to waiting for the terminate waiting for the streaming to complete so overall we have these steps available first of all we define the libraries followed by the spark session followed by the options and then we are defining the source transformation and the word this one the writing to the sync okay so let's do this practical first of all what we can do is because for a saving a time i'll be entering to the paste mode what is paste mode it is helping us in writing multiple lines in one shot as a batch mode okay otherwise we have to type every line copy every line and, and put it enter it'll be uh, wasting a lot of time so what i can do now because i've entered to the paste mode of spark shell i can simply exactly copy all the content together and we'll be pasting it here right you can see everything got pasted but nothing got executed yet okay we need to come out of this paste mode with the control d okay after control d what will happen then you'll be you it all the commands will be interpreted right step by step so meanwhile before you press control d let me open up my netcat also the command will be net ncat space hyphen lk space four time nine i'm pressing enter here it is now start working and here i'm also pressing the control d enter control d you can see exiting paste mode now interpreting so now it is start running and meanwhile what i can do is i can also sending some words from the netcat window okay i can also send with the space okay done so you can now see in the other terminal i'll be getting its corresponding answer it's little slow process because it is taking some time here you can see uh yes now you can see it's now working it's coming in a batches a batch zero nothing is coming but now back in the second batch you may get your answer here okay let me keep on sending i'm sending the words okay now you will see some results very soon here you can also do this practical in ide as well it's up to you uh, just for you can see now the answer is coming hello is coming four time r is coming okay i'm also sending some other words it's all coming in a micro batches you can see now the data is coming in a form of data frame in which we have a two columns available one is called words one is called count okay now let's see next batch i'll get the result of hh so just waiting for the results to arrive it's a streaming happening it's happening continuously so that's why it will be consuming you can see because of the fact i'm using complete mode that's why i'm using the previous result as well okay not only the recent result previous results as well okay and now let's see if i'm getting the result of hh and then we are done for this practical i hope you have understood this what what is happening here the, as as soon as you are sending the uh, messages from the netcat window its results will be displayed in the spark shell and you can see the results are coming here okay now r been updated here something i'm writing and as like simply you are sending here and you getting the results here this is what we are doing in this little practical okay so let's get some other result and we are done for today's uh, this little video right you can see now hs has also got updated with the two and slowly you'll get all the results in the form of the data frame i hope you must have understood from this video that what's the meaning of structured streaming and we have used today the netcat as a source thanks for watching guys see you next video